Hello, my name is Ole Eriksson. I work at the Department of Physics and Astronomy at the Uppsala University in Sweden. I just then moved to New Mexico, USA to start my employment as a postdoc at Los Alamos National Lab. I'd moved there with my wife and our six months old child. I remember reading in the local newspaper that the wall had fallen, but the information was tucked away in a small article in the center of the newspaper. The front page had a picture of a man chopping wood in the Gila wilderness. The information was tucked away so deeply so I could hardly believe it was true. I don't think I had a plan as such to what I wanted to become when I was a child. But I did read all of Gerald Verne's books and I was blown away. I also wished for a chemi chemistry set for children when I was 12 years old and I got that for a Christmas present. I remember having lots of fun with that and the most memorable part of it was when I electroplated an iron nail in a copper solution. In my work I use quantum mechanics to understand materials. In practice that means that we use theoretical models with aid and with aid of high performance computers we find out answers to what is it that governs the properties of a material. With the material, I mean the glass that you have in a window or that the silicon you have in a solar cell. Our ultimate goal is to find and predict new materials that will enable new technologies, greener technologies, clearly something that breaks walls for a greener environment. This is a huge challenge in that it's a little bit like finding a needle in a haystack. There are today of the order of 160,000 compounds and to find the right one for your technology is indeed a huge challenge. We have recently made several predictions of new materials. These predictions have been verified by experimental work. That means that new materials have been identified uh, at a short time. And this had, would never have come around had it not been for our theoretical predictions beforehand. A recent example of this is a compound composed of cobalt, manganese and germanium. It has superior magnetic properties for use in, for use in windmills. This is a, clearly a technology that is, uh, enables green energy conversion of mechanical energy into electricity and we have great hopes that this will be a key material for future green technologies. All technologies that we today take for granted rely on advanced functional materials. This applies to the machines that examine us at hospitals when we get sick. This applies to cars and trains that we use for transportation. And this applies to cell phones and computers that we use for entertainment, communication or work. All these technologies are evolving technologies. They need to be better and better and that always relies on improved functional materials. My research helps identifying these new functional materials. All technologies are evolving in time, and so the search for new materials has to also be a, an ongoing and continuous effort. In particular, this means for me and my research group that we have to improve and develop our methodologies. If I'm lying awake at night, uh, it is often about projects that don't go as good as they should be, and how this potentially could influence negatively on the younger scientists that I have in my research environment. My best friend is my wife, and she appreciates and understands my engagement for what I do. And she thinks that the scientific questions that I describe to her that we work on are interesting and exciting. <laughs>